Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Colin Jones, 65th Commander of the Nashville District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Today we're here at Kentucky Lock, just a couple miles up from the confluence of the Ohio River at our Kentucky Lock Addition Project. Luckily today I'm joined by Jeremiah Manning, our resident engineer, and our project manager, Don Getty. Today we are moving dirt and placing large amounts of concrete to support this amazing project. When I say large amounts of concrete, we're putting about 2,400 cubic yards into the ground, into the bottom of the Tennessee River support of our downstream coffer dam placement. When you think about that, that's about 9.7 million pounds of concrete that are going into the river time now. So Jeremiah, as the resident engineer, can you tell us about some of the amazing engineering solutions that your team has developed to make this happen? Yes, sir. So, which, as you said, sir, we've uh, got the downstream coffer dam of the Kentucky Lock Project underway right now. And what we're doing here this week, and what's going on behind us, is we're bringing our foundation up to grade down at the bottom of the Tennessee River so that we can continue to place our precast elements that are being built on the uh, lake side of the lock. So we've got to bring those down, set them down on this foundation that we're finishing up today and tomorrow. And that way we can keep this project rolling so that we can deliver um, the coffer dam project that we need so we can do the major excavation works behind it. Yes, sir. Outstanding. You know, when you think about that, as we get this project in place, eventually we're going to be able to realize, you know, a 1,200-foot lock addition that's going to increase the economic capabilities of this system. You know, here with Don Getty, the project manager, can you just talk to us and describe how this is going to be able to increase our ability to move commodities on the river? Yes, sir. So, we have a tremendous resource here now, the existing Kentucky Lock is a great way to ship goods and a great benefit to this country. The problem is it's too small, and so we need to build a lock that's twice as big. And when we do that, the $5 billion worth of commodities that go through here a year are going to move through here much more efficiently. So we're already taking an efficient system and making it better. And as a result of that, even though we're spending almost a billion dollars to build this project, we're going to reap about $100 million a year in rewards by doing this. So not only do we do that, but we also help out the country in other ways. Uh, there's a national security side to this. This country ships products from our 101st Airborne through this site that makes it a lot cheaper for them and faster for them to ship their, their equipment when they go do training or get deployed. So that's the way our waterways, not just Kentucky Lock, but in, in this case it's Kentucky Lock, help, help our Army units as well as our military to get their goods where they need to go and do it efficiently and faster than they can even by rail. So it's a huge benefit to them. Another thing we do is we ship most of the large rocket systems that the United States government uses to shoot, to shoot our satellites in this space are manufactured on the Tennessee River upstream here. And they come through here by boat and they ship it down to Cape Canaveral or, or Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. They actually go through the Panama Canal with the same boat that goes through western Kentucky through this line. So by building this new lock, we make those systems more efficient. We make the whole system cheaper. It benefit, we all benefit from that when that happens. So this cofferdam project that we're talking about here today is an integral part of building the new lock. It's a critical contract on a critical project. So the sooner we finish this, the more we reap this $100 million in benefits that this new lock is going to take place. So this is a huge milestone for us what's happening here today because this is a critical item, a critical contract for a critical project. Outstanding. As you can see there, we're out here delivering the program, ensuring that we can provide a critical national resource. We're going to be coming back and visiting the team as they continue to hit these major milestones, like the placement of the concrete shelves as we continue to develop this for the nation. So from the Nashville District, go Army, building strong, Army strong. <laughs>